Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Cameron sets out stall vowing to curb EU migrants' benefit claims. The truth is, however, that our politicians are barefaced liars. Meanwhile, EU kleptocrats are out on another funding spree, laying waste to nearly 4 million euros. Plus, more blind bluster from the Agenda 21 Brigade, ignoring the hard evidence that the wind turbine industry has failed to deliver. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, UK top dog Dave Cameron has been out on the plank talking tough on EU immigration. This article looks at the first of the 2013 rounds of vacuous politico twaddle as our eminent leader says one thing and does another. More repatriating of powers from Brussels and no social benefits for migrants. Well, Mr Cameron, perhaps you might like to pull your finger out and take a look through our legislation section, where I think you'll find Mr Barroso has got your meat and two veg with both hands. Complementing the monumental pile of steaming bull from DC, this next article digs deep into the complete lack of integrity exhibited by our political elite. The question is, are they really as stupid as they appear? Furthermore, are we really as stupid as they think we are, expecting us to believe the words of these modern-day Judas? This is one of the best articles I've read and takes a global view of the scope of the problem we face and looks at why we are unlikely to get any sense or truth from our political kleptocrats. Of course, whilst our political brainiacs are busy wheeling us to hell in a handcart and trying to sell us the idea it's the latest carbon-neutral super-mini from Rolls-Royce, across the channel, danger looms. Yes, you've guessed it. Our pontificating Orwellian neuromancers have been out on the town with the ECB charge card again. This time, dishing out almost €4 million Euros to international crime-fighting organisations. Particularly interesting is the funding being handed out to various organisations with WORLD as their forename. World Bank, World Customs. The rhetoric suggests the target destination is the reduction of wildlife crime. Here at the unit, we know the underlying agenda. We've got a close eye on all of this outside Federation funding and we'll keep you posted. No jokes on this last article, as the reading demonstrates that this strategy of mass wind farm deployments is turning into a massive ecological disaster. This article looks at the damage to populations of some of the world's rarest and majestic birds, including precious birds of prey. This is a deeply troubling article, and when contrasted with the growing evidence suggesting that global warming is a myth, it's harrowing. It prompted me to ask the question, what of the UK red kite population? The red kite was almost extinct in the UK, with only a handful of breeding pairs left 30 years ago. Huge efforts and expense have been invested to protect them, and an effort that until recently had been successful. But once you read our article, put Wind Farm Red Kite Deaths UK into Google, and you can read the sad news for yourself. Today in our video library we have European Utopia on the Horizon and this is a Greek film with English subtitles but it takes you right to the heart of the uh, austerity measures and demonstrates exactly what the people of Greece are having to deal with. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com you can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.